It is the best part of the weekend because one, it is Friday after work and we are heading up to the cabin once again. It's like 95 degrees out, so I already have my suit on because the second we park the car, I'm jumping in the lake. And it's picking out which books I'm going to bring up. The first one is I'm about halfway through this. It's Pack Up the Moon. This is so sad. This isn't a spoiler, but basically husband and wife, wife's dying and it's husband's point of view throughout the whole thing. I'm pretty stone cold, but I've been shedding tears. I'm bringing this. This is my TBR to be red pile. I don't like it to get any bigger than this. Otherwise it almost like stresses me out thinking of how many books I have to read. This one is not on my TV red pile. I found this thrifting and my sister, she wanted to read the third one. So I just got that for her. I need an upbeat one cause that one is so sad. So we're for sure doing the new Abby Jimenez book. Maybe I'll do the new Kristen Hanna book too. I kind of want to do the housemaid. I'm going to do the housemaid. All right. That is the weekend stack. We are en route to the cabin and I have been dying to try Scooters, which is a new coffee shop that just popped up. So let's go. Well, I'm supposed to follow. Shoot. I think it's, it's oh, just I, a drive through. Wait, you can't go in? No, it literally says drive through on there. So that means it's only a drive-thru, I believe. I think it's only a drive-thru. It might be only a drive-thru. Two iced caramelicious. And then a hot chai latte, please. There you go. This looks like the, um, what are the ones you used to get at Caribou? Mm -hmm. Vente. V Venti. Yeah. Or I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. Oh, snap. But remember when I had two of them at Wisconsin Dells? Oh, and you were not well. Is there anything else you guys want? Or and then um, mashed potatoes that are on the size of that. We also have small and large. back at the dock and I'm swimming across today and I don't know if the, I might be making this a uh, you know my thing there's the small concern that I'll get run over by a boat but we can't get held up on the what ifs do you want to swim across with me <laughs> do I yeah of course okay let's go you follow me I'm not gonna run bye It'll be close. At this rate, yes, because you're still standing there. Oh, that's deep. Bye. Isn't your phone in your pocket? Yeah. That's not very cinematic. The weeds are significantly worse this weekend. I thought that boat was going to hit me. Did it come through? No, but it was even a little close. Don't find line on your feet. Limp knees. Limp knees. Limp knees. Surprise, surprise, another watermelon. Ah, I fell. You should try convincing someone that they do. The water is literally a bathtub. Cabin edition. Crusty bar of soap. Hmm. Oh, hi, Walter. Walter, come on. update so I'm in between both 
pack up the moon and just for the summer yeah so sad i have to pace myself with it otherwise it's just it's too much i really like the writing for su being such a sad book she incorporates like such like quirky things where i actually like laughed out loud a few times and then just for the summer again i just started this yesterday i love a minnesota based novel it's definitely gonna be like one of those predictable from the first chapter however i think just because of the minnesota references i'm enjoying it much more than i would if it would have been based in like florida or something at this point would recommend both these books regularly programmed activities, reading on the dock. So I was just reading, you know, in a really good zone, feeling very relaxed. Instantly to look up and have my day completely and utterly ruined by this sight. Ah. I post another rainstorm that I didn't film and hoping this sun is here to stay. Toodaloo. Oh, that was a bad push. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Bye now. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy. Tesla, now what are you doing? That song came out when I was like 14. I had no business singing those lyrics. I'm almost done with this book and I think this ending is just gonna gut me. Oh my gosh, okay. We're just gonna do it. In a freaking moment, okay? Post ski run later, looking a little crusty. I had time to digest and give my thoughts on this book without any spoilers. Given this a four out of five, which is very high for me. This, my friends, is a love story. Colleen Hoover, not to bash, just the smut on every page, like that, no. This is a love story. Be prepared, it's gonna rip your heart, take it out, take a sledgehammer to it, then put it in a smoothie and add some protein powder. That's what it's gonna do to your heart. It was so good. You're on the edge emotionally. Maybe opt for something a little lighter. Oh, it's so good. In route to the bedroom. I sleep out in the gazebo. My dad made this last summer, two summers ago. And it's the ultimate glamping. You lock it, 
so no creeps get in. All right, I'm likely going to finish just for the summer, so I'll give a review tomorrow morning. I feel inspired to watch Charlie St. Cloud, the Zac Efron movie from like 2010 probably. So I brought my laptop to watch that out here. Night! Book number two of the weekend complete. I think I'm on an Abby Jimenez kick now. They actually have some depth, which I find romance novels typically don't. So I'm definitely putting the rest of her books on hold at the library. The main character didn't love her. She did have some redeemable qualities. So I think I'm giving this pupper a four out of five. Headed down to the boat. It's gonna be 90 degrees today, thank God, because the weather yesterday, she was a little on the funky side. Tip that my bestest friend in the entire, entire world told me is that you need to apply your sunscreen 30 minutes before you go out in the sun. So, we're strapped and ready. Next read of the weekend, the housemaid is watching. Thumbnail, Jason. Oh,